Lookup formulas are one of the most used formulas in Excel nowadays. In this tutorial, I will explain to you the basics of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, and we're going to do a few examples together to understand the concepts better. So let's start. What is a VLOOKUP? Basically, a VLOOKUP will allow you to look at the leftmost column of the data that you have selected. In this example, it could be country. Then you'll find a data point and it will return the value that is in an adjacent column. For example, in this case, it could be price as 78. The most important thing you need to understand about VLOOKUP is that VLOOKUP works from left to right, but it doesn't work from right to left. So for example, if I look for 312 and I want to return country 8, I cannot do it using VLOOKUP. If I look at HLOOKUP, it is the same concept. The only difference is that the data is reverse. So I'm going to look for a value in the top row of the data that I have selected. In this case, for example, we have also country 8. And based on this, I'm going to return the value of a corresponding row in the same column. In this example, it could be 78. And the same thing applies as VLOOKUP. You can look from top to bottom, but not from bottom to top. So let's go back to VLOOKUP. And let's try an example where I will input the country and then I have to get the price and the quantity. So how did I get this data validation here? Basically, I'm just going to show you. So if I go here and I have any value, I just click on this data validation under data. I select list, then I click on this arrow and select the countries. I will say OK. I have a list of countries. Let's select country four and let's get the price. I'm going to do equal V lookup open parenthesis. What is my lookup value? My lookup value is actually the country I'm looking for. So here I have selected the cell that represents this lookup value. What is my table array? My table array is this. I'm looking for price, so I need to select all the columns that are starting with country and be careful. As I said, you have to start with the column you are looking the data into. So in this case, it is country. I can go up to price. I have to select agent, even if it's a column that I don't need. I cannot select, for example, country as a range and then do comma and select price as a range. It doesn't work like this. So let's fix this. Let's select those three columns. We write comma, and then we need column index number. Column index number is where do I pick up the adjacent value? So country is considered as column one, agent is two, price becomes three. So in this case, it is three, comma, and then we have true for approximate match and false for exact match. To be honest, I've never used true while working on a practical example in my career. So I always use false. I always want an exact match. I don't want trouble. I'm going to say enter after closing the parenthesis and you get 55 for country four. If I do country five, for example, you get 91. Let's do the quantity equal V lookup. Here I press tab to get the whole formula fast. My lookup value is country five comma. My table now is from here till quantity because I need quantity and I need country. So I have to select the columns in the middle. Then comma quantity now is my force column. So four and then false. Enter you get 100. Now I can get price by dividing revenues over quantity. So let's try it out. Let's do delete equal V lookup, open parenthesis. This is my country, comma, 
my table now because I want revenue it's the whole table comma it is the fifth column and then false so you can see that we get the 9100 we're gonna divide it by VLOOKUP again my lookup value is the country my table quantity I can select the whole table for example it won't matter as long as the first column is the column I'm looking at and then the column I want is in the middle is somewhere in my data range so here it is the fourth column and then false and you get the same 91 you have here let's do hlookup let's have the same concept so here I'm just going to do the data validation first I'm going to select the countries and then we say ok let's select one country two and let's get the price equal age lookup what is my value it is the cell for country two comma my table is this table now comma what is my row index before we had column index here it's row index so I want the price so price is one two three it's my third row and then we have false enter we get 92 to get the quantity it is similar equal h lookup the lookup value comma the table array comma then here it is the fourth one and we write false and we get 31 so if this was too fast for you i will put a link in the description to a couple of videos at the beginner level you can check them out and also for those of you who are curious to learn about more complex scenarios using lookup formulas i will put a link in the description to the playlist that talks about lookups and my final request for all of you is to comment please in the comment section anything you need like this video that would help a lot and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so